How to edit videos in Canva, ultimate Canva video editing tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can get started with video editing on Canva. So let's get into it. So to get started, all you have to do is head on over to canva.com and you will simply click on videos over here. So once you click on videos, you have multiple different types of templates that you can get started with. You have a slideshow video, you have feed ad, you have YouTube ad videos and these templates enable you to fit in the prerequisites of a lot of those social media platforms. So if you want to create a Instagram reel, this will open up a canvas for a Instagram reel video, so on and so forth. Now, if you're someone that is a beginner and that has never used this kind of stuff before, you can simply click on create blank over here, and this will open up a blank canvas for you to begin editing with. Now, the next thing you can do is click on uploads on the left side of your screen over here. Once you click on uploads, you can click on upload files and you can just go on ahead and upload any of your files that you want. Let's say I want this cheetah video or this video. So you can just upload any of the files that you want. So it will go into the video section over here. I have previously uploaded this uh, beforehand. Now, once you upload your files, you can simply select the video from here. And it will appear on the bottom preview and on the top preview as well. Now, once you do that, you can fit the size of the video. So, so I will just make it fit like so. And then you will be able to see the bottom, the video over at the bottom over here. And you can also click on add pages to add multiple different videos, to add multiple different text or transitions as well. Now, what happens if you want to trim a video in Canva? Well, there is a simple way that you can do that. Let's say I want to cut out a portion of the video. So it would be better illustrated if I do this with a different kind of video. So let's say I have this video over here and I'm just going to expand it like this. So this is our video and maybe I want to cut out a part in the center of the video. So for that, all you have to do is click on your video over here. You can see you can view the video like so. You can also choose to lock the video, but if you lock the video, you will not be able to, you know, uh, change the video. So uh, to do that, you just click on the video on the bottom preview over here and click on these three dots. Then you will click on split page and this will split the video. So it will crop out that section and then you can simply click on over here and you can remove any part of the video that you want don't want so let's say i wanted to remove the walking part i can remove it like this and now if i go to the start of the video it's walking and then it will cut to the top so in this way you can edit and trim any kind of video so you can just click on these bars over here so where if the video section that you want to trim out is in the center of the video i'll show you guys again so let's say i have this video over here and if the video section that I want to trim is in the center of the video, so I don't want this super exclamation mark, like when this guy is moving around, I want to cut out this part, and that's between multiple different frames, what I will do is I will simply click on the section that I want to trim it from just before that area. So I don't want to include maybe... So let's say I want to trim out this section where he's like, you know, talking and gesturing. So what I will do is I will place my preview bar right before he begins gesturing. I will simply click on these three dots over here. I will click on split page. Once I have split the page, I will take a look at the second section where the section where he's gesturing around is. And then I will move my little bar forward like so. And now all the gesturing has been cut out. And in this way, you can trim and edit any kind of video. Uh, if you have like a longer clip, like this is a 14 second clip and you want to trim the uh, start or the end of a video you can simply click on the top over here and you can edit it from over here as well you also have playback options where you can choose to loop a video forever or to auto loop and you can also click on edit video and you also have a background remover so you can do that to remove any excess background but this is a pro feature and it does take a little while for the canva editor to process the video and to be able to accurately remove any kind of disturbances other than that if you select the video section and click on edit video on the top left you can choose any of the basic filters like vignette you have x process you have saturation vibrance shadows highlights contrast all the basic coloring so the color editing is all present in the adjust section now other than that let's say you want to uh, cut to a different part so let's say within this video i want to cut to another part how do i do that well if you want to keep the original audio of the video so right when this guy 
though right at the end of this video, maybe this guy, right at the start of this video, when he begins pointing at something, maybe I want to cut to a different video. So for that, you have two options. If you want to keep the video, uh, the original video's background, then you will simply go back into your upload section, take the second video that you want to add, and then you will have a picture in picture mode. You can choose the size of that and place it over here or any section that you want. You can place it wherever you want to get a picture in picture effect. That is if you want it to keep the original audio from your background video. But if you wanted to cut to a different video, well, uh, you know, you don't need the audio of that. You just wanted to cut to a different video. Then just move your cursor uh, at the bottom to where you wanted to cut to the different video. Click on these three dots once more. Click on split page. Then on the center, you will have a add transition section or add page section. Just click on add page over here. In this page, you will simply add the video that you want to cut to. So let's see, we want to cut to this video over here. And I will expand this to fit. And I'm just going to reduce the timeline just so because this is an example for you guys. Now, if I move my cursor to the start, this guy is pointing and then it will cut to this video and then goes back to the original video as it is. Now, that is how you add a clip into an existing video. Let's say you want to add some text. So what you will do is you will simply click on text over here and you have multiple different font combinations you can choose from. You have quite a bunch of different options you can choose from. Uh, let's say I want to add some basic text. So I'll just add a simple little text like this. So let's say I'm just going to add some basic text and I will click on effects. You can even add effects to the text that you're adding. You can also change the shape, change the transparency, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to give it a colorful little theme. I will change the color of that as well, like so. And let's say I want to place this text right at the bottom. So I will just click on the bottom over here and I can resize my text like so. And I can place it right over here. Now, this text has only been placed in this frame. If I want to place it in the second frame, I can go on ahead and add it in the second frame. Plus, you can even add transitions to the text. So let's say I click on over here and I can click on the animate section on the top right over here. And let's say I want the text to pan in when the video starts. Now you can see the text is now panning in as the video is starting and this allows you to add so many different kinds of basic elements or complicated elements that you would normally not be able to, you know, smoothly add. This really makes everything smooth and this allows you to have a very cohesive look. Now, another great thing that I recommend, especially if you're doing video editing for YouTube or for a uh, social media platform, you can add intro and outro templates. So, for that, just click on add page at the end of your video at the bottom over here and go into your element section or into your template section and you can just search for outro. So you can search for YouTube outro over here and you can see you have so many different types of outros that are available to you that will enable you to, you know, make your YouTube channel look a whole lot more cohesive and a lot more well put together. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with Canva. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.